Hello friends, today I will share with you a 5G carbon steel horizontal port full position bottom welding skills and precautions. In the video, the pipe specification is 19 times 4, the current is 90, and the wire diameter is 25. Through the video, we can see that at the bottom position, we need to raise the sweat wire to about 1 to 2 millimeters, and we must ensure that the sweat wire cannot be disconnected and the wire is continuously fed without breaking the wire because the broken wire will cause the sweat meat to fall or the temperature to. Rise. This is one of the reasons why our novice friends cannot have excess height at the bottom during the practice process. At the 9 o'clock welding point, we suggest that novice friends grind the welding point in advance into a micro-gentle slope, which is convenient for the joint position to be smooth and transition smoothly. We preheat again, which is convenient for the internal molding to be highly consistent. When welding in the first half of the circle, we must pay more attention to ensure that the welding wire is constantly controlled. The temperature of the tank is often controlled by many novice friends. During the practice, I felt that the difficulty of the upper half of the circle was relatively low. Relaxing my vigilance led to broken wires and falling flows. We must pay attention to the key points of details in normal practice, attach great importance to it, and concentrate our attention. Only in this way can we achieve twice the result with half the effort. I hope this short video will be helpful to novice friends. Please give me some pointers and pay attention to it so that you can learn easily. Thank you for your support. This video is about the 5G carbon dioxide cap. When you want to cap the carbon dioxide, we usually choose to put the Chinese poem in the middle. Then the 5G is roughly based on the width of the Han Dao. For example, the fish height of our filler worm is lower than the mother, which is 0 0.5 nimimimimi. Choose to fill the thin cap to control the texture. Then, when drawing a circle, our tooth mouth must press the fulcrum on the welding knife, on the welding meat, or on the welding sword. Then draw a circle. The tooth mouth must roll left and right on it. Then take care of the ridge. The left and right are parallel and the height is controlled consistently. Then pinch the side lines on both sides when welding. How do you say this thing? Practice more. I hope this video can help you, brothers. If it helps you, please give me a double click. If you haven't paid attention to me, please give me a follow. I am Han Guang Ahu. I run a restaurant at home. Training class. This was filmed by Rongqi. It's not very clear. We, Han Jia Rongqi, must let go. We said that the current and hand speed must match. The current is large and the hand speed is fast. Then the hand speed is slow. We choose a small current. Han Jia Hansi continues to advance. Brothers must give a double click and give a follow. Thank you, brothers, for your support. Click twice to update the trader video for brothers. I want to share four common Yahoo welding techniques with you. The first is shaking target welding, which uses the magnetic nozzle of the welding gun and relies on the weld as the support point. Rotate the welding gun counterclockwise to move the magnetic nozzle left and right for welding. The speed of the moving welding gun is fast and the swing of the black needle is stable. It effectively controls the molten stone temperature, making it suitable for welding thin-walled stainless steel base and cover due to its beautiful appearance. This tooth-squeezing Han uses the porcelain nozzle's two sides and relies on the grooves as the support point. The wrist drives the Han Kiang porcelain nozzle to squeeze the teeth alternately left and right to move forward. The swing of this Han Kiang needle is very stable, and the walking speed of the Han Kiang can be adjusted at will. Ideal for the base and filling of rear arm pipes. Universal Sweat Floating involves using the middle and ring fingers of the right hand as a support point to lift the sweat cavity, separating the mouth from the sweat channel. The wrist pushes the sweat cavity forward to sweat. The sweat cavity's sweat speed, swing width, and mouth angle can be adjusted according to different sweat conditions. 
It is widely used, so it is called universal sweat piercing obstacle support welding. Support welding is to use the bottom of the welding gun magnetic nozzle close to the welding guide or one side of the pipe arm as the support point and drag the welding gun forward with the right hand to weld. The magnetic nozzle is close to the welding guide, making it suitable for pipeline obstacle welding, such as power plant boiler pipes and narrow metallurgical hydraulic pipelines. I hope the welding video is helpful to novices. Please give me a red heart to follow the anchor. I will continue to update the welding tips. Thank you, everyone. Today I will share with you a relatively simple technique of mutton hanje target. It mainly uses our wrists to twist left and right, and use our two fulcrums to alternately roll forward and back and forth on both sides. It requires us to alternate up and down and back and forth. If the amplitude is large, the veins will be large and the lines will be large. Otherwise they will be smaller. Let's take a look at the state of Rongqi. Ice and snow are not with you in the cold night. Its foundation essence is explained. The base sweat solidifies. Two-thirds of the arc is used to melt the molten iron, and one-third is used to burn the sweat thread. The sweat thread supports the molten iron and prevents it from falling by sticking to the front end of the melt pool. Avoid excessive or insufficient wire feeding. If the gap is too wide, feed the wire in small increments before proceeding. Do not increase the amount of wire fed each time, but increase the number of wire feedings. This can make the melt pool more uniform and the texture more delicate. How to manage molten pool temperature during stainless steel welding. Ensure the current is not excessive. Excessive current accelerates the rise in molten pool temperature. Also, monitor the distance between the black needle and the molten pool and aim to keep it within one millimeter. Control the molten pool temperature more accurately. Use the black needle to move the molten iron instead of opening the molten hole with it. If the distance between the black needle and the molten stone is lengthened and the molten stone temperature rises, it will cause the upper half of the molten iron to fall and the lower half of the molten iron to fall, causing the black needle problem. Therefore, the needle must be pressed down to maintain close contact with the molten stone. When welding stainless steel primer, take small steps. This helps to make the internal molding more delicate. The best containment state is that when the black needle moves to one side, the molten iron on the other side can form a solid state. This can ensure the welding quality and avoid defects. These details are very important for the successful welding of stainless steel and need to be practiced and mastered in practice. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you.